And let's begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us pause to mind. Let's call to mind our sins. Ask our Father in Heaven for His forgiveness and His strength. I confess to Almighty God, God, and and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Rejoicing in this annual celebration of our Lenten observance, we pray, O Lord, that with our hearts set on the Paschal mysteries, we may be gladdened by their full effects. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Come, let us return to the Lord. It is he who has rent, but it is he who will heal us. He has struck us, but he will bind our wounds. He will revive us after two days. On the third day he will raise us up to live in his presence. Let us know, let us strive to know the Lord. As certain as the dawn is he is coming, and his judgment shines forth like the light of day. He will come to us like the rain, like spring rain that waters the earth. What can I do with you, Ephraim? What can I do for you, with you, Judah? Your piety is like a morning cloud, like the dew that early passes away. For this reason, I smote them through the prophets. I slew them by the words of my mouth. For it is love that I desire, not sacrifice, and the knowledge of God rather than burnt offerings. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Again. It is mercy I desire, not sacrifice. It is mercy I desire, not sacrifice. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and of my sin cleanse me. It is mercy I desire, not sacrifice. For you are not pleased with sacrifices. Should I offer a burnt offering, you would not accept it. My sacrifice, O God, is a contrite spirit, a heart contrite and humbled. O God, you will not spurn. It is is mercy mercy I desire, not sacrifice. Be bountiful, O Lord, to Zion in your kindness by rebuilding the walls of Jerusalem. Then shall you be pleased with the due sacrifices, burnt offerings, and holocausts. It is mercy mercy I desire, desire, not sacrifice. sacrifice. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus addressed this parable to those who were convinced of their own righteousness and despised everyone else. Two people went up to the temple area to pray. One was a Pharisee and the other was a tax collector. The Pharisee took up his position and spoke this prayer to himself. O God, I thank you that I am not like the rest of humanity, greedy, dishonest, adulterous, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week, and I pay tithes on my whole income. But the tax collector stood off at a distance and would not even raise his eyes to heaven, but beat his breast and prayed, O God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, the latter went home justified, not the former. 
For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, and the one who humbles himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> when I was a kid, in writing class, we would have these assignments that we would write. Sometimes it would be a letter, or sometimes it would be a story. And then we would bring it to our mom, and she would look over it, and she would take out her red pen, and she would circle every time we used the word I. I, I, I. She said, you're not supposed to start a letter with I. You're not supposed to start anything with I. Usually there's got to be a kind of a greeting. Or something other than myself. And that has kind of stayed with me when, when I get resumes for jobs, if you're paying attention and you want a job. When I get resumes for jobs, if people will use the word I too much, I don't call back. Because I know that it's not all about me. Did you hear the gospel today? The Pharisee comes in. I, one, two, three, four times I. And he is bad-mouthing this man who's, who's also there in the temple and praying. I mean, usually if you see somebody that you know is maybe a sinner, it's not a good thing to see somebody praying in the temple. But um, he really has no mercy on this poor tax collector whose prayer is actually so beautiful. Do you notice how he starts his prayer? Oh God, have mercy on me. He put God first. I know prayer is difficult for people, and I think that most of the time when we are trying to pray, we're frustrated because we don't think we're doing it right. My whole point is I think that you have to just stop doing it. It's something that God gives us, the gift of prayer. We listen to him. He's the one that's supposed to be doing all the speaking. Sometimes we get so tired of our own words because we just have so many. And it's time for us to just sit quietly and listen. This is a craft I think maybe we could use some of this free time on. Usually our lives are so busy and we just try to get our prayers done or get them in, you know, if we're lucky. Um, this is a time when we could start asking ourselves or paying attention to how we pray. Is it I, 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 I? Or is it you that I'm praying to? Now let us stand for our prayers of the faithful. We pray for the whole church that what is proud in her may be humbled, that each of our members identify honestly with the sinner who admits he's wrong and asks for mercy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders, that they may strive to know the Lord, and that for them his judgment may shine forth as the light of day, creating peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That God, who desires love and not sacrifice, may find that our piety remains and grows in his presence through the action of his saving grace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those now who are in a period of distress of mind, body, or spirit, and whose hearts are humbled by suffering, that they may be exalted in joy and healing. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our beloved dead, especially for Ellie Garten, for whom this Mass is being offered, that God may raise all of them up to live in his presence in the joy and peace of heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all of the intentions we hold in the silence of our hearts. For these we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we come before you humbly asking you to hear and answer our prayers according to your will and our good through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Blessed 
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God in prayer. Let us pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, for the grace and glory of His name, for our good and good of all of His holy church. O God, by whose grace it comes to pass that we may approach your mysteries with minds made pure, grant that, in reverently handing them on, we may offer you fitting homage through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by your gracious gift each year, your faithful await the sacred Paschal feasts with the joy of minds made pure so that more eagerly intent on prayer and on works of charity, and participating in the mysteries by which they have been reborn, they may be led to the fullness of grace that you bestow on your sons and daughters. And so with angels and archangels and all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You therefore, Almighty Father, we bless through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is the word that brings salvation, the hand you extend to sinners, the way by which your peace is offered to us. When we ourselves had turned away from you on account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that, converted at last to you, we might love one another through your Son, whom for our sake you handed over to death. And now, celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you, sanctify these gifts by the outpouring of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, whose command we fulfill whenever we celebrate these mysteries. For when about to give his life to set us free, as he had reclined at supper, he himself took bread into his hands, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, on that same evening, he took the chalice of blessing in his hands. Confessing your mercy, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Celebrating, therefore, the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, who left us this pledge of his love, we offer you what you have bestowed on us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us also, together with your Son, and in this saving banquet, graciously to endow us with his very Spirit, who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all people. And may he keep us in communion with Francis our Pope, 
and Michael our bishop, and to all the bishops, and your entire people. Just as you have gathered us now at the table of your Son, so also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and all the saints, with our brothers and sisters, and those of every race and tongue who have died in your friendship. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity in a new heaven and a new earth, where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in Christ Jesus our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, kingdom the power, and glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer to one another a sign of peace. Peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. <clears throat> behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not, not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but Lord, only say the word, and my soul shall be. Let us pray. May we truly revere, O merciful God, these holy gifts by which you ceaselessly nourish us. And may we always partake of them with abundant faith in our heart, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. 
and lose let's, our strength. Let us bow our heads and pray for God's blessing. Hold out to your faithful people, Lord, the right hand of heavenly assistance, that they may seek you with all their heart and merit the granting of what they ask. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God.